What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I am in the process of making my Terminator wall. Then uh, basically pushing this on the ground, got to turn it. I wanted to try just two 36 inch shelves with the life size endo first. See how I like it. If I need to swap that 36 for a 48, we can. The reason I'd want to do that is if I ever decide I want to get the new Queen Arnold bust. That would be the, the biggest reason because there's plenty of space here for the two one thirds. And I want to try first the endo here, see how I like it. I could put it in the middle, but I feel like it will be too close to the couch. And I feel like as a bookend, it'll work better. Plus doing it there allows me to do bust, one third, one third bust. Similar, similar. You know, we're in the process of moving everything. I moved the TV a little bit over for this. Of course, we'll remove everything in the back. I want to test the statues first. You know, like that. You know, I got him. Of course, it'd be poster and prop. We're going to do, I'm going to put the 48 here and see how I like it. If it's too much, I'll change it to a 36. But yeah, so let's go ahead and put the endo there and see how we like it. Should also actually probably just put the poster up immediately. Alrighty folks, so here is the endo. Now in this particular setup, we used the entire thing. Frankly, I, I do just prefer it that way because I got like my logos, it kind of like protects it. Even though my endo is of course severely battle damaged. Uh, but now this is kind of how it look. You got the poster directly behind it. We would get the Pure Arts Battle Damage Endo, my little sign, and the other Pure Arts Liquid Metal version of him because I had the painted version and it was very cartoony and I just feel like it didn't work, you know, uh, based off the realism of this one. But the Liquid Metal would work fantastic because it's Liquid Metal, so it's going to, you know, work much better. I could also do just the Battle Damage Endo and forget the you know, this guy's version, you know, just do like the battle damaged endo and then two logos. I don't have to do the T1000, maybe just the endo. I haven't moved these just yet. I attempted that there, not gonna work. It has to be a 36 inch, gizmo. Uh, so it has to be a 36 inch. I'm gonna remove this. There's no need for it. Those wires don't need them. So, yeah, but we need to build a 36 inch garage shelf here and then have the two lichens on it. You know, end about right there, lichen setup. Then you can move that setup here and then this wall is complete. Of course, blade goes next to Chucky in the T1000. You know, and I'll remove those two things above, wall mount the blade prop above him. And that would work good. You know, and then down low will be the entire dark sideline with the endoskeleton. I do need to put those bottom, not top. Give them extra height. And up here will just be the two blitzways. Now, if I truly do want the Queen Arnold, which, like I said, I'm really trying to avoid for many reasons. In all my photoshops, I don't like it next to these two busts. It's much taller, and I don't think it looks good. I think it's good as like a standalone bust but not paired with these two. These two look best with the two one thirds in the middle. But if I truly wanted to get it, I'd have to move this over 12 inches, remove that probably, have it to like right there, and then I could probably fit it. But like I said, I'm really trying to avoid it. Don't think I need it. You know, but we would do the liquid metal version of the T-1000 and Arnold right here, and then Sarah Connor and Endo. You know, and then of course, battle damage Arnold. Now, from sitting down on my couch, you know, that is kind of the look. You know, this is my angle. And of course, down low, we'll have all the one thirds. You know, Sarah's just here for right now. No reason to put her down low. You know, and when we get the clean Arnold next from Dark Side, I'll actually move Sarah over there and do clean Arnold here until we get the liquid chrome version then i'll just do the two dark sides right here and sarah down low then eventually when prime one arrives i'll lower them all but there's no reason to have you know sarah down low just yet you know and that's kind of the look right now for the tv i do think this works 
you know, because it matches now like perfectly. Scale wise, one thirds above, down low, everything will be one fourth. I just got to build that 36 inch garage shelf. Then I can move all these creatures over, you know, so these girls are going to have to stay here. So that's like the angle. Luckily, as you can see, it doesn't like block too much, you know, from like my angle. And I actually moved it more this way because I can move that end over. Normally it's pushed more that way. But from my angle, the only thing it actually blocks on the AVP wall is XM Predator. Everything else is completely visible. And it will probably block the Medusa setup like Red Sonia will. Uh, that's about it. So not too bad. They look gorgeous there. They are comic and, you know, much like more colorful than my other statues. So I feel like it works having them in their own separate area in the middle room. Plus, I mean, Jupiter's. Look at those boobies. Yeah, now the endo, as you can see, I have it propped up high. And this is how I like the endo. You know, I think it looks much better like this. One up, one down, head slightly tilted. I got all my props on the base that add extras, you know, bullets, cigarette, brain chip. You know, like that looks super epic, especially having the gun up high. You can see the gun, you know, much better. So I think it works really good right here. And it's not blocking any of that, as you can see. If I had the arm down, I actually would. So now I can actually see Jon Snow better and whatnot. So the arm up definitely works better. So yeah, now we just need to build the 36 inch shelf, get the lighting set up there and finish up. Uh, I think this does work folks. It's gonna fix a lot of things that have been grinding my gears lately in this room. So I think this is the plan to go having the endo here, you know, it's also gonna make like walking the walkway much better, you know, and then from a distance, you know, endo, you know, as you can see, you get really far back and get good visuals of it. And there's more space now to walk here, where before I always had to be a little careful with the lichen arms sticking out. Now there's tons of space, you know, to, of course, walk by. You know, we need to wall mount that right there, remove that and wall mount the Reaper right behind it. You know, on the poster, I'll actually probably move a little to the left so it's directly behind this. You know, but yeah, let's go ahead and, you know, start building that shelf, moving statues. I think this is going to work, though. Now, like I said, if the endo was moved over 36 inches, probably would be too close, you know, to the couch. It's like, look how close that is. That'd almost be touching the couch. It's, I think it's best here as the bookend. You know, I think that works pretty good. You know, it looks so much better with that arm up too. Like that is so much cooler in my opinion. So much cooler. And now that we have the height space, we can go ahead and get the pure arts. Uh, I might get both, maybe, maybe not. A lot of nail holes that I need to fix. Need to move that Skynet logo over and have that directly in the middle or We'll figure it out. Anyways, folks, let's get to it. Alrighty, folks, so we're pretty much done. Just gotta do some cleanup, uh, you know, and also need to wall mount his prop above him. I'm gonna do some photoshops on this wall now that we have everything set up. I'm gonna lower her, you know, because the plan is to put her right there. She looks best right there based off her angle. So Sarah, Endo, Arnold, T1000, Liquid, T1000, T1000, the battle damaged head is the one I'll most likely be displaying. Battle damaged Arnold. Likely move Skynet and just do the battle damaged pure arts. I don't think I need the T1000, honestly, but we definitely got to get at least the battle damaged endo because it's much different than this. You know, it's battle damaged, and I think it looked great when I had it. And ideally, I want to buy one that includes an additional bullet so I can throw another bullet in there. So we got to buy an exclusive one because I kept that bullet when I originally sold it. I'm only gonna wall mount. So this is how this looks. We got the lighting all set up, plenty of walking space. We removed that. I might move that poster a little more to the right because this poster, I, I didn't move it or anything, but it's basically just right of the TV, like an inch. So to make it match, we might wanna 
I don't know if I want to move the poster over to right there. It's blocked severely by the wing. But let's sit down, you know. Now I could just move the Reaper poster over, but I do need space to wall mount the prop. I could just leave it as is. They don't need to be the exact distance. Now here's, of course, with Vampirilla and Red Sonia mid-room. As I said, it blocks the Medusa setup. You know, basically like when I'm looking at that wall, it blocks Medusa. Not too bad. Doesn't really block too much. Of course, if I want to stand, I can see everything in the room really good. Now, we do have the dilemma of eventually Celine one-third, you know, which, of course, we will get, you know. Now, if I wanted to just throw a tiny little pedestal here and just put her here behind the girls, we could. You know, that is not an issue, you know, so... Yeah, I think it is best to just have the endo right here. It's able to breathe a lot better. And I feel like it'd block and impede this too much. You know, the nice thing is it's not really blocking anything with that arm up, which is so close to the ceiling, just about an inch shy underneath the ceiling. But it works good. So far, I like it. I think it works. I mean, in a preferable stance, I wouldn't have this here. But it does work, so this is all one-fourth and bust underneath now, where before we had one-third, which I did not like. You know, and I think in a perfect world, I wouldn't have the rotunda T-Rex there. Instead, I'd scoot the blades over a little more to the right and throw that blade next to it and just have everything spaced out. You know, in this, we did have to make a little tight, but we did make it work. You know, basically, his base is just on it, and you just have to watch for the shoulder when walking by. But that's not a problem. There's plenty of space. You know, and his shoulder also sticks out, of course. It's nice having an extra depth on the mummy and Medusa. We're able to, you know, the mummy, I, always, I couldn't display the back two parts, those two, when it was over there. Where now I actually can, because it is deeper deeper shelf yeah I'll probably move that poster over maybe like three inches maybe just three inches you know I think that's fine and I gotta test if we can hang the reaper placard right here you know we got it right here if it can't fit the other option is just having it by blade uh, right there you know, I could put it there, although I'd prefer to have it just with my Reapers. But, yeah. Sarah has a way bigger base, by the way, than the Prime Ones. Her base is like 18 inches, I think, or maybe even 20. The two Prime One Blitzways are only 13 inches wide. So it's actually going to be very spacious. You know, like... I'll probably have the T-1000 right up to the edge and then Arnold's right there, but it will look really good. This freshens up the room a little bit more and I think it's working. Anyways, folks, I just got to do some cleanup now. You know, wall mount a few things, fix some nail holes. We're going to buy Pure Arts, battle damaged endo and maybe get the t1000 liquid chrome i need to photoshop it and see if i want to do it i might maybe anyways folks let me know what you think like comment subscribe have a great day